gonna cry. I have just realized that I have become a single 30 year old mom who's driving in a Dodge Caravan checking out other men. Oh my gosh, you have no idea what it feels like. It's such a beautiful thing when you can take accountability for what you've done and grow and learn from it. Welcome back, family. Today we are going to understand why it is very important to not try to turn a hoe into a wife by reviewing this modern woman who decided to leave her marriage just to be humbled by the hardship of life. Let's first hear her BS reason for leaving the marriage. Now this video is not a stitch with another person. She is actually reacting to her own video. Let's watch. I think about the girl I was with you a lot and find myself thinking that I never want to meet her again. Not because she wasn't kind or loving because we both know her love fell down on you like rain droplets, even on days you tried to stay dry, but because when she needed the same love herself, she often found herself in a drought. Her identity became a chameleon, changing colors to reflect whatever mood, blending into your life just to stay a part of it. She rarely felt good enough, even though she was enough and more, and the minimum is what she allowed herself to beg for. I never want to meet that girl again. I cannot imagine another day where I do not strive for the absolute maximum of what I deserve. I cannot believe that this woman is talking about striving for the absolute maximum of what she deserves. I will just let her and her best friend tell you the type of women they really are. I'm a cunt. And you tell me if these types of women deserve anything. They party, get drunk while recording themselves as you can see here. This is what most modern women mean when they say, I want to find myself. And again, I do not care what these selfish, irresponsible types of women do. But the problem starts when these women have children and start to use their children as emotional tampons. Look at how she put her children in the spot so that they can give her the validation she craves because deep down, she knows that she deserves nothing. Okay, when you look at me, what do you see? There is a house you look at mommy, what do you see? What else do you see? What do you see? What else do you guys see? Uh, kind heart. Can you picture a dad switching on his camera and asking his kids what they think of him? Ridiculous. I mean, this woman does it so many times as you can read here in the caption because she knows how damaged she really is. And her ex-husband actually tried to save her. Now, before the tears of regrets, let me just show you one more clip of her blaming all her bad decision-making to her so-called childhood trauma so that you guys can understand how it usually starts. Because when I was younger, all I did was try to date because of my thought that I wasn't enough. So I was people-pleasing. I wanted to be enough. I wanted to be chosen because I never was chosen. I was given away. I was rejected. So... What I wrote in my music, I was like, love me, choose me, want me, desire me, please. I want to be wanted so bad. Somebody want me. Right. So then that's my childhood. That was my teenage was trying to fill that void. Right. So even when I was single and learning. What she is actually trying to say is that she let everybody bus her down on repeat left and right until she could not know more. This is why it is very important to know a woman's past before committing to her. Now, after divorcing her husband, the single motherhood hits her so hard that she started crying in disbelief. Check it out. I'm gonna cry. I have just realized that I have become a single 30-year-old mom who's driving in a Dodge Caravan, checking out other men while driving. 
in a subdivision, a suburban subdivision. I am a single 30 year old woman with three children driving a minivan checking out other dads. Okay, this is where my life is. Yes, this is what your life is now. You chose this life. It didn't just happen by accident. It's amazing how these women make all these big decisions without even thinking about the responsibilities that they are going to have to take in the future. Now, she just posted a video confessing and crying about how she has grown a lot after going through her divorce, which is a completely lie. And I am going to expose her and tell you exactly what she is actually trying to do at the end of the clip. Let's watch. I finally let go. Oh my gosh, you have no idea what it feels like. Do you just finally let go? I forgive him. I'm so thankful for him. Even the bad, because man, if I didn't experience it, I wouldn't even know who I would be. Because of him, I love myself more. Because of him, I learned about myself. Because of him, I was able to heal and understand my shadow work and to fix the things that I contributed to the marriage and the patience. It's such a beautiful thing when you can take accountability for what you've done and grow and learn from it. And come to the other side. And just be, I'm so grateful and I appreciate all of these experiences, but on a much deeper level. I just want his happiness. And he's found that. And we may not be where I was hoping we would be, but I can only control myself. But I can just like look back on us and it's sad to see how it got there how it got to here. But being where I am right now, it's all worth it. And everybody says, choose your heart. In these past four years, oh my gosh, they have been hard. What I've experienced in the past four years is more than what people experience in a lifetime. I chose hard. But by choosing hard, I found myself. I truly found myself. Guys, all of this is fake. She has not grown an inch. She's still bitter and angry because her ex-husband moved on and find someone else, as she mentioned in the clip. Here is a quick video she posted a few days later. Don't fuck with me, fellas! This ain't my first time at the rodeo. Now you tell me if that sounds like someone who is in a good place mentally. The real reason she posted this video of her crying, making it look like she is taking accountability for her past actions, is because she has a new podcast and she is trying to grow her male audience over there. Typical chameleon behavior tactic. Fellas, 
Stay away from former 304s and women who play the victim all the time like her. And above all, keep your head up, focus on your goals, and everything else will follow. I love you and I appreciate you for all your support. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to help push this content to more men in need. I'm out. Peace.